really cold out here. I think that's probably how I've started every video I've made this month. Probably how I will start all of them for the rest of the year. So I'm not going to be out here for very long. Quick introduction, uh, this video is touring my newly finished, finally, rabbit enclosure. Uh, my rabbit's name is Wolper Tinger or Tingy. I have a, a pet in World of Warcraft named Tingy. That's a rabbit. Anyways, uh, he is a lion head rabbit that I adopted through a local rabbit rescue. They found him running free. Uh, he's a really entertaining rabbit. He's not super friendly, um, but he's not mean at all. And just a ball of energy. Uh, loves to explore and hop around. So I was really looking forward to giving him this big space. Normally he had your standard rabbit cage and then would just spend most of the day outside of it, hopping around my bedroom. But now, even when he's not free, which I still like to give him time to just hop around, uh, but now even when he's not on the loose, he has a huge space. Uh, he has really seemed to love it. Um, and it turned out exactly like I'd hoped. I have had this creation in my head for a long time, uh, thanks to Pinterest and some insomnia. And it turned out like I hoped, which has kind of been the way all of it's been going. So the patience that I have had, um, all of the effort and the money and everything else that I put into it is finally paying off for all of my animals. And I love seeing that. Uh, and they are loving it too. So here is the first of a few pet enclosures that you're going to be touring over the next couple of months. And let me know what you think. I used windows uh, for the walls of his enclosure. So he has this whole space here, and then this little cottage in the back. We've decorated it with a lot of little bunnies. I even found these cute little bunny lights. And then all along the windows, little hopping bunnies. He's very clean, even though he's hairy. Uh, so he only uses his litter box, which has made Decorating his pen a lot of fun because I don't have to worry about most of it getting dirty. Uh, so we have his litter box, which I do have to put under his hay. He likes to uh, potty while he's eating, which is very common for rabbits. So we've got his hay, his litter box, uh, his food and water bowls, which are shaped like leaves. I wanted to make this section of the cage more waterproof than the rest, so it's really easy to just wipe up. And then the rest of it has just the green turf rug that you can get at like Home Depot. He has his play tunnel, which he is always inside of, and I like to hide little treats in there for him too. And then this adorable rabbit rug, which I don't think he cares about, but I think is super cute. Uh, the pillows, and I wasn't sure if those were also just going to be more decorative for me or if he'd actually enjoy them. And uh, he loves to jump in and toss them all around. I have a few more little glowing bunny and a rabbit picture and then a giant carrot. Uh, I actually have a few more kind of rabbit themed items arriving, but I didn't want to wait any longer to make this video. So I'll just have to update once I'm finished decorating it. I also have a few more toys for him as well. Uh, so he absolutely loves this. It's actually a dollhouse that someone made. I wasn't sure if he'd like it and he spends so much time in here. It's awesome. There's three floors. It's five feet tall. It's huge. Uh, he even uses the little steps. You can tell he spends a lot of time in here because that's where most of his hair is. <laughs> yeah, so this is the first enclosure that I have completely done. And I think we both love it. 